Yodelehu. You ready for this? This is an athletic performance this today. This is an athletic performance. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. So obviously here we have a nice big hill coming down, which links directly into an uphill, which is the beginning of the jump. So we're dealing with a lot of natural compressive forces as we come down into here. And that means we don't really need to preload because mother nature is preloading us. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds me of a jump at Whistler, you know, all the Whistler jumps where you come down a big hill and you don't have to do anything. All just, of A-line. Yeah, A-line <laughs> and just like Dirt Merchant, all those, you know, big runs, but they're actually not technically difficult because we don't actually have to be so careful about preloading. Mm -hmm. So we've been getting a lot of questions about holding compression into jumps, right? Everybody wants to know, like, how do you hold preload, mm -hmm. right? You don't hold preload. You can't hold preload. We're gonna talk about that today. So we're coming down a big hill here and then we're going immediately up another hill and then all of a sudden we're in the air and we don't have to do anything. These are the easy jumps, but people get scared of them because they think they're the big jumps. Mm -hmm. Not to say that you should go to a big jump before you're ready. However, they can often be easier because we get this natural preload when we're coming off a hill into an mm -hmm. uphill and then we're, all we're gonna do is hold that force. This is a reminder for everybody, we're not able to hold preload, but to hold compression, we're gonna press against the force of the jump. And if you're going like normal trail speed, you're only gonna press in that the amount that the jump is pressing back at you, right? If we needed to really boost this, we could press in a little bit more, which would mean we'd be getting taller up the jump. If we needed to like, if we thought we were gonna over jump, we could like let our legs in a little bit on the way up this hill so that we wouldn't go as far, right? So we can control what we're doing, but generally speaking, if we're going trail speed, we're just gonna press back as much as the jump is pressing at us. So you're talking about compression and preload, but what's the difference between those two? Absolutely. Preloading is just compression that you make. Mm. Compression itself into a jump, like the one that we're about to hit here, is offered by natural terrain. So compression is basically the force that I feel when I either like come down a hill through a G out mm -hmm. or when I run into a jump face. So anytime that I'm, my bicycle is basically going from going down to going up, that is natural compression that I'm gonna mm -hmm. get. We've all felt that like on roller coasters, things like that, mm -hmm. or like go through a dip in your car really fast. You feel that, right? right? That force into the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and preload is just being able to extend that compression or generally speaking, like when we're on mountain bikes, it's actually starting that compression earlier. Because when we get to short face jumps, we're gonna have wanted to settle the bike into the, into the ramp of the jump. And we're gonna work on some of these today where we really have to create preload. Because on a small jump, if we don't create that force to, to hold into it, the jump is so short, it might kick us. So basically anytime the terrain hasn't created the compression you want, you're preloading. Absolutely. Okay. Spot on. Thank you. Kind of interesting. We can actually see here, like it's a kind of almost this dirt. It's kind of getting almost like blue groove. Like there's actually like rubber stuck on the dirt down here from the compression at the base of the hill. And that's kind of showing us where we would normally have to create our natural compression here. We would normally have to start to press in if we were coming from flat ground just to kind of kick off the party. But we've got this big hill behind us kicking off the party for us. So obviously we have a pretty big hill here leading into this. I mean, it's hard not to get compression here, right? It's hard not to hold compression. I feel yeah. like you're just like trying to fend off the energy. I did exactly nothing. Yeah. And made it over that. Absolutely, yeah, no preload required. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. So that jump has a lot of compressive force. I can actually see, like we reset our, our fork uh, O-rings here and you used almost all your travel, oh, yeah. so did I. You know, we use basically all our travel without creating any compression of our own, right? Like mm -hmm. it was just mother nature pushing at us and us pressing back. And 
there's definitely like, I don't know, like one and a half G's at the bottom of that. You feel like you have like a mm -hmm. couple sacks of potatoes on your shoulders when you get to the bottom of that hill. Yeah, and I think that's what intimidates people about this jump is just how strong the force is when you go through the dip and then up the face again. The force is strong in the you. The force is strong. It definitely, definitely gives you a lot of force, right? So Mother Nature to the rescue, making that jump super, super easy. Um, a lot easier than a lot of the small jumps in the park. But now we got the challenge. We're going to go work on preload and talk about small jumps, which people think are easier, but they're actually not. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's go do it. So here we're going to have to create our own compression because mama nature is not doing it for us here, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to make preload here. So okay. you're going to press up and down through your legs. Okay. Uh, on the bike or the just bike. like? Yeah, you can play with that first. Perfect, perfect. Jump, 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 jump up and get Dance, down. Monkey. Nice, nice, awesome. <laughs> perfect. So now we're going to get on bikes and try the same. Okay. Okay, without jumping off the ground. So you're going to stand nice and tall, fairly straight legs, a little bend in the knees. Creating compression, good, all right. So I want you to do another lap, perfect, nice. I want you to do another lap and I want you to hold that compression. Let's see it. Okay. Okay, you're gonna hold that compression. All right, nice long, pre nice long loading. Come on, hold the compression. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? Go down! You can bounce up, you can bounce up, bounce up and get down. Jump up, jump up, and get down. But you can't hold it down, right? Like it's not doing everything you need it to do. But that's all we're gonna need on a short face jump. So the preload that we're creating is compression, but it only lasts a moment. And that's the really important takeaway here is that we wanna make sure that we're preloading at the right time for these smaller jumps. Okay. So let's go over, take a look at some small jumps. Okay. All right. Here we are at a much more technical jump, and I'm not even joking, like this little jump is actually in a lot of ways more difficult than the jump we were on before. Mm -hmm. And that's because we are responsible for setting off a really healthy chain reaction here. Okay, so if I came into here and didn't preload for this, I would definitely get bucked. Mm -hmm. Okay, because the, the bike doesn't know anything is coming. My body doesn't know anything is coming. If I just hit it, I'm gonna get bucked. But I'm gonna create some preload here at the pink cones. Pink for preload. Okay, preload. Preload right here. So as the front wheel gets here, the knees are gonna nudge forward slightly. Now. Let's talk about this. When we were out on flat ground and we made our preload, our bike was right underneath us. The ground was right underneath us. So we just pressed straight up and down. Mm -hmm. Here we're moving into, into a shape that's in front of us. So notice as you're standing here, stand in your riding position here. So go ahead and stand in your, okay. in your riding position and just stand up and notice that the weight is over the arches of your feet. Yeah. What's it going to take to make the weight go over the balls of your feet? Rock forward. A little rock forward, right? So what we're going to yeah. see here as you're making this preload isn't so much of just like a stomp down. We're actually going to see a roll forward of the knees. Okay. okay. So you're going to roll forward and get that pressure to start to build here. And basically we're taking this kind of like flatter ground and we're trying to make a nice transition into the ramp of the jump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now our compression that we're going to feel from the jump is where the orange cones are, right? It doesn't last very long, but it lasts longer than preload. Remember out in the clearing, you couldn't mm -hmm. hold your preload very long? Right. So yeah. you're going you're gonna to create your preload here, and then the jump is going to take over. It's just like the name implies. We are loading in anticipation of another force taking over. Gotcha. Which is the shape of the jump. So this is the preload, and this is the natural compression that we would have gotten yes. on any of the jumps. Yes, absolutely. And we're going to hold that mm -hmm. all the way till our green cones, green for go. At that point, we're going to commence launch. What we hear a lot from people is how do I hold compression? Because what's happening is they start their preload here, but by the time they get here, by the time their rear wheel gets here, they've already softened. So how do we solve for that? So a lot of times what people are doing is they're coming in and they're making preload too soon. Okay. And so the, the preload isn't really linking into the loading itself. Oh, and they're preload. Thinking, they're thinking it should just feel like making preload and I should be in the air, but the mm -hmm. jump is still going. So what I always tell riders is that we need to hold compression for the entire duration of the jump, mm -hmm. however long it persists, however long that pressure persists at us. Like mm -hmm. when we were on that bigger jump, it just naturally persisted, right? Until we took off and got air. Mm -hmm. Here, we're gonna kick off the party with a little bit of preload and then we're gonna go back into that feeling of holding mm -hmm. all the way until we take air. Right, okay. so number one is the timing of the preload. Yep. And then number two is just not softening your legs too soon. Exactly. We're going to hold that preload all the way till the back wheel 
gets to the lip of the jump. Because mm -hmm. this is something I struggled with for a long time, even on these itty bitty jumps. And my trick for overcoming that was to force myself to stand tall as long as possible mm -hmm. between the jumps. And then I could get the timing more accurate by the time I got here. Yeah, we want to make sure we're in that position where we actually could create loading. If we're down here, we're simply not strong enough. Right. Okay. So when Linnea comes down here, what we're going to see is that she's going to have a nice tall stance. Just a nice natural athletic stance, relaxed upper body. And as she gets to these pink cones, we're just going to simply see the, the kneecaps driving forward slightly. That's going to be bringing her pressure into the hill she's riding into and starting to create that preload. So she will be pressing down as she's preloading, but she's more kind of moving into the face of the jump and really smoothing out this moment where she's going from somewhat flat ground into the uphill face of the jump. Nice jumping on those little jumps. They're a bit Thank more technical you. than the big ones. I've had a lot of practice. Yeah, you have practiced on these a lot, <laughs> <laughs> which is a good thing. If you liked what you saw, come take a class with us in Seattle. Be sure to like and subscribe. We appreciate your support.